Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mona Shibel and I am a manifestation and solar alignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I'll be talking about how living in the end is a mental state, not a physical one. But before we get started, just a quick reminder that I have daily coaching email advice that you can receive every single day into your email inbox so that you remain on top of manifesting. They are small tips and pieces of advice. They're not long emails. They're small snippets of advice that I send out every single day. I have received a lot of great feedback from people telling me that that tip that I shared was something they really needed to hear. So if you'd like to receive these, you can sign up on daily.munashibble.com. I will also link it below. I also have a self-concept in love masterclass that is 90 minutes long. It's called how to become magnetic in love. If you'd like to watch that, you can sign up as well. I will link it in the description below. Also a reminder that I offer both email and video coaching. So if you need help in manifesting any of your desires or in releasing any of your blocks, you can definitely check out my coaching options. They are all in the description below. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon in order to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So when it comes to living in the end, sometimes people misinterpret what that means. I was having a conversation with one of my lovely clients who is manifesting a reconciliation with her husband. She was telling me that she was feeling like she needs to take certain actions towards him as the wife because that's what a wife would do. And she was also getting a little bit hung up on her son saying things that were not aligned with the wish fulfilled. So this is where it's important for you to understand that living in the end and being in the state of the wish fulfilled is purely a mental state. It's not a physical state. So you're not going to act like you are the wife when you're not the wife. You're not going to change your behaviors in any shape or form because that's not what is meant by living in the end. You have to be as you would be in 3D normally. It's just mentally, you know, that's old stuff that you're saying. You know that it's going to shift. It is purely holding the state from within, mentally, aligning your thoughts with your desire. It's not pretending in physical reality because obviously you can't, do that <laughs> necessarily right i mean it depends there are things you can do physically to reflect that you already have what you want if you know ariel ford she has the book called the soulmate secret which is actually a wonderful book that helps people manifest a relationship and she talks about how you need to make space for them you need to for example if you sleep in the middle of the bed sleep on one side if you, your closet, like make room for them, all of these tips that are really just for you, like they're personal, but that is the extent of physical 3D action. It's not about telling people you're with someone when you're not with them. I had a client once ask me, can I tell people that I'm with my SP? I said, I don't recommend that. That's not what living in the end means. Living in the end is here. It's purely here. I also once got a question from one of my clients who's manifesting getting into a university. She said, should I say that I did not go to that previous university, which she felt would impact her ability to get into her desired university? I said, you never lie in 3D. That is 3D action, what you're trying to do. You always honor the current truth of the 3D. Honor it doesn't mean you have to love it. You, you stay within what the 3D is showing at the moment. It is not your business how it's going to unfold. You hold it here. So I was telling that client of mine, I was telling her, you know, you don't know how this is going to happen. Maybe they will receive the application and someone misplaces that information 
or they simply change their policy and it's irrelevant where you've been in the past. You'd, this is not your business to work on how it's going to happen. It is all mental. You don't take any action in 3D to reflect other than what is currently in 3D. Now, some people, for example, when they're applying to a university, I've seen a lot of such cases, they don't apply to any other university knowing that that's going to manifest. They just know it's going to manifest. And that's okay. That's perfectly okay. But you're not doing any manipulation in 3D to make it happen. That's the point. So very important that this is very clear because you may create resistance around doing otherwise and it's not required also when it comes to spending so that's another thing that a lot of people start to feel well if i want to feel wealthy i need to spend money that i don't have again that's not needed you never have to force anything in 3d it's all about going on the path of least resistance what will create the least amount of resistance for you whatever it is you are trying to manifest it is not a physical action that involves you telling something that's not truthful or pretending in 3d and giving off the impression that something is that isn't the case this is not at all what living in the end is it's an inner state that is achieved through inner practices. I always go back to this graph because I think this really sheds light on how this is all working. The identity of the person who does not have has a different set of beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and actions than the person who has, who's in wish fulfilled. When you're trying to be in state of wish fulfilled through action and pretending, you're going upstream. You're going against the stream you work here mentally mentally and then that has to follow and here's the 3d the 3d is going to be the outcome so it's all a mental space that's how you shift it's all mental 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 it's not through here because the, here's the lowest point it's the hardest you can't create change through action you create change through mind and then the action will become very natural. So you change here. This is where. This is where you're changing in the mental space. It's an inner state. You can also be in the I am state, which transcends all states. That is you recognizing that you are the creator of your reality, being in that consciousness, being the awareness behind the thoughts, not being your thoughts, being the awareness behind the thoughts you're transcending the thoughts and in that power you can claim any identity but it's still not an action it's a way of being so how do you get into that inner state of wish fulfilled how do you live in the end you start with the practices the practices of mind or the I am. So the practices are affirmations and visualizations and scripting, whatever it is that you resonate with, you keep doing that until you reach that state. You don't start out with it, you end with it. You, you get to that state from persisting with that one technique. And I always tell my clients, don't jump techniques. Sometimes my clients tell me, I'm doing a hundred different things and it's very sporadic. No, you want to build a routine and you want to find something that you like and you resonate with for a given desire. I always say because sometimes you might alternate for different desires. For a given desire, choose the technique that you like. For example, it could be affirmations, it could be visualizations, it could be setting the intention, letting it go, being in presence, which is manifesting through your I am state, identity shifting. All of these are things that you can decide for a given desire and you stick with it. You persist because then you will get to that state of wish fulfilled. It will be effortless. It's not about holding that state from a, from a difficult place. It's about holding that state 
from a place of ease. You're not needing to hold it. You're not fighting it. This is what we mean by living in the end is getting there. You get there. And it's not about any 3D action or pretending in 3D. It's an inner feeling. It's an inner state. I hope this is clear and I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please like, comment and share. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.